everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how I put bigger rings into my Louis Vuitton PM agenda. Excuse the nails, they're gross. I have not had time to do them. But um, yeah, here's my PM agenda with the full setup with the top tabs and everything. I also um, show you guys what I load into this agenda. So if you guys are interested in seeing what's in my agenda and how I change the rings, please keep on watching. Um, as I mentioned, I'm changing out the rings into the Krauss rings. The original rings are over here. Sorry, my tripod's over there. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you guys how it looks like without it. And then also at the same time, the tools that I use. So first off, I used this right here. This is the, um, this is a glasses repair kit. So this one was in here. Sorry, this was the 2.0 mm to pry it up to 45 degree angle. And then to get it all the way um, further back, I used this one right here, which is the 2.4 mm. Obviously you can use either this one or this one. These ones are too thick, but, um, I just found it easier to start with the thin one to really get underneath because mine was really tight and then this one to get it all the way back so yeah so just wanted to mention that additionally now that that is removed i'm going to clean the inside and a trick that i wanted to show you guys is a kneaded eraser if you have a kneaded eraser and you can get this at any um art supply store usually you uh, people artists use this for sketching and you need it a few few times to get it clean and then you can it's a little bit sticky and let me just show you guys let me just put you guys over here so you want to stretch the eraser like so it's really stretchy and it's a little bit sticky as well so all that dirt and grime you can just can you see that i just erased it Obviously, it's not going to remove all the dirt and grime, but it does remove a significant amount. Can you... Is this in focus? It's not in focus, sorry. Let me just put you guys here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there was a really significant uh, line here earlier, and I've just removed that. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the kneaded eraser and erase it. And that's how you get um, dirt off of Louis Vuitton Vachetta leather. I've seen this uh, hack online. So to put the crow springs back in, I just slipped it back underneath this tab over there. And now it looks like this, you guys can see. And I'm going to go in with the 3.0mm, three, uh, 3 mm, that screwdriver. And I'm just going to, am I in focused? Yeah. And I'm just going to try to push it down back into place uh, this is going to be quite hard maybe i need something more blunt i'm going to go in with something like that there you have it nice and secure so now that I have the bigger rings in, that's how much that's how much space I have. And I just wanted to do a quick comparison. Here are the old rings next to it. But that's the difference between the new rings and the old rings. So significantly bigger. As you can tell, um, the Kraus rings are actually a little bit more yellow gold and I really don't mind it. I really prefer it actually. And yeah, now I have a lot more room to work with and play with. And as you can see, it's very secure in there now. Super excited. So let's load up my PM agenda. Let me just put you guys on a tripod real quick. Yes, I'm wearing a incredible Hulk t-shirt, but um, I just wanted to show you guys real quick my setup for my 2019 agenda with my new cross rings. So excited about that. So here are my inserts that I removed. Um, I, I was previously just using the agenda uh, with the original rings, but now that I have the new cross rings, I'm really excited to use this as well. So over here, I just have my Sesavi um, little postcard thing that she gave me with my order. I ordered some inserts from her and um, I'm just gonna put this here. It's a year at a glance calendar and this will act as a ring protector against the leather because as you can see when you close it and after a long time um, they'll have little indents in the fascetta leather I can never say that word, but into the leather. So to prevent that, I'm just putting a card here. And um, yeah, here's my dashboard. I had this dashboard previously. I actually made this dashboard off of Canva. 
all of these dashboards I made myself. I'm just gonna have to blur this out, but um, I have my phone number and it just says this planner belongs to me, Jessica. <laughs> and I just use a white gel pen. I used this white gel pen here. This is the Uniball Signal. And I use the cloth and paper black post-it notes and if you guys want 10% off of your order from cloth and paper you can use my code jessica10 and um, i also have a link in the description box so that's there then i have this little um sort of clear um what do you even call this laminated sheet and i have a sesame post-it note here that says remember and then a sesame post-it note with monday to uh, Sunday over here as well. So this will go in here. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention my tabs, my divider, uh, the to-do divider. That one's from Planner Press and I will link all the shops down below as well. Just a to-do insert checklist, which I got off of uh, Peanuts Planner Co. Uh, the Facebook group, the free printable. Over here, I just printed um, on top of the to-do sticky notes. These are sticky notes also from cloth and paper. I'll just foiled sticky note and I just went ahead and printed um, Peanuts Planner Clo Co. to-do checklist on uh, to the post-it note as well. And the post-it notes come like this from cloth and paper with all the foils as well. So that's what I use. And then to print the Peanuts planner co to do checklist onto it what i did was i went into their free download group i printed off um i kind of messed up a few times because i wanted to see how to put this in my printer but i printed off their template for sticky notes i stuck one of these foiled sticky notes onto here and then just pr uh, put it through the printer so then it would automatically print um a to do checklist onto the tab to do foiled sticky note. So that's how I did that. Channel checklists, which are from Peanuts Planner Co, the Facebook group as well. So I have that in there. And then I just had some grid paper also from Peanuts Planner Co uh, from the Facebook group. Actually, this is not even on the Facebook group. This is on their website. It's a free um, downloadable printable insert. Then another planner press um, monthly tab. Most of my inserts are from Peanuts Planner Co. I will link that shop down below as well. So all of these as well, all my inserts. This one's the fold out calendar. Another fold out calendar from Peanuts Planner Co. And then I just have the Filofax inserts. And I purchased these um, on a whim because I had just purchased this agenda and I just needed to use it right away. So I just went ahead and got the Filofax inserts. There's nothing too crazy about that. So let me just put that in. Oh yeah, I also have the uh, Louis Vuitton ruler as well. So nothing too crazy. My weekly top tabs as well. Really cute here as well. All the dashboards I actually made myself on Canva. If you guys are interested, you can message me or put in the comments down below. Maybe I'll make them down um, available through like a Google link. But yeah, this insert I made, this is just a little pocket. Um, online orders, this uh, post-it note is also printed off of Peanuts Planner Co. that um, template that they have. This dashboard I also made myself off of Canva. And then the rest are all, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, so that's that. Um, this is my setup. I am so happy with it. Like it is now fully like a super functional planner because of the bigger rings. And now I don't have to be afraid to open the rings and put more stuff in. Before I would open the rings and everything would fly out, fall out. So I'm really happy. That's my planner with all the new rings in it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really quick and informative, I guess. But um, yeah, the rings I got were not from Jillio. They're still Krauss rings, but they are from Vanderspeck. So I got $5 off shipping, which I guess it's a little bit better because the shipping was crazy. It was kind of more expensive than the rings themselves because the rings were 24 euros but um the shipping i think to canada was around um an additional 25 euros as well which ends up being like 60 dollars um so yeah it's a little bit crazy but i think it's totally worth it to make this beautiful agenda usable and functional so i'm super happy about that um over here i just have a little kate spade um 
what do you gonna call this? A Kate Spade paperclip. So that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.